Hey everyone, John Brown here again with Solutions 8, and today we're going to be talking about shared budgets and how you should use them, when, why, and then what you need to do after you start using them. Um, so today we're going to be looking at a client that we can't really explain uh, their name, but uh, it's a law firm in the United States that has a specialty um, in the tax space. So. Uh, given that you're going to see uh, some campaign names, I have to kind of show you the campaign names. So you're going to see the uh, name, but the brand name is going to be uh, the only thing that's blurred out. So if you look at it and you wonder what does that actually say, the only thing that is is not visible is going to be the brand name. Um, so let's kind of dive into exactly how, how to use shared budgets. Now, what shared budgets are, and as you can see on the screen, it is um, a budget that very similar to how a campaign has a daily spend, you have multiple campaigns that are going off of one daily spend. So you have one kind of you know, pot of money, and then you have however many campaigns you want taking money out of that pot, and then once the pot is empty, the campaign, sh all of them shut off for that day. And the reason why you would do this is maybe you have a well-diversified account, which you should, and you wanna know, I don't know exactly how much money I should give to each one of these you know, services or offerings or whatever it may be, but you want to know what's going to be the most popular. You want, you're you going to be wanting to know what is going to be um, a daily budget you should set for a campaign. Um, maybe you're not exactly sure which one should get the most activity, so you kind of wanted to leave it open to chance and then readjust as needed. And that's kind of what we did here with this client is the client has a few different types of service offerings, sales tax, collection cases, payroll tax, multi-state tax compliance, uh, a whole host of services that he has. And what we did, as you can see here, in the um, budgets, we have something called services. Now the services are sharing a budget of $90 a day. And whenever you see services here, this means that this, these campaigns here are all sharing that one daily budget. Now we've only launched uh, for the past couple days. And what we can see already is that we're limited by budget. But you'll notice that the uh, this campaign here has got 1,458 impressions and 53 clicks while the other campaigns have you know, less than five, except for this display campaign, which isn't using a shared budget. This is obviously it's display, so you could, you could spend a lot of money really, really quickly. But looking at these search budgets that are all sharing these services here, you'll see that they're limited by budget. Now, instead of saying, well, let me just give this thing more budget, what you're actually seeing here is that this one that is eating up the daily ad spend and eating up the budget really quickly is the only campaign that would benefit by increasing the daily budget. So by increasing the daily budget, what's not going to happen is, oh, good, I'm going to get these other campaigns to start having clicks and impressions. What you would see is that if you increase it, only this one would have more clicks and impressions. And so it's the high spend campaign. So what we've done is saying, OK, now that we know which campaign is going to be spending the most, we're going to set a daily budget of this campaign itself when we see how many conversions we can get from the clicks. Um, and then the other three here will share this 90 day budget and we'll do it all over again. Once this um, this campaign here is off on its own, then we look to see, well, what is the next uh, campaign that is going to get the most amount of impressions, find out what that volume is, and then turn it into its own daily budget. Now you may say, well, why didn't you just start with, you know, having a, a bigger bigger budget for each one of these. Well, we're, we're trying to start by testing this first. And so what we did is we said, we'll take $90 a day and which one is going to eat up the budget first, whichever one eats up the budget first, we make its own daily ad spend, its own budget, and then so set that off to the side. The other, the only other way you would do this is by giving each one of these campaigns $90 a day and knowing that this account is going nationwide, we theoretically could have spent, you know, about $400 in one day, which wouldn't be budget conscious. So now we're spending $90 a day and identifying where that high income traffic is going to be coming from and then turning it into its own daily budget, repeating the process with the other three, then the other two, then the last one. And then, then you have campaigns that are running at a good ad spend and you know that you were able to go to market quickly. You're able to identify the high income. You're able to identify uh, how that traffic is doing, look through the search terms, is there any conversions, cost per conversion. Um, maybe it has a high spend and low conversion rate. So you might want to just kind of start that one off on a lower daily budget. Um, depending upon your use case and what you need to do, um, this is a good way for you to test all of the campaigns at once, but not go over your daily ad spend in order to test it. So instead of spending $400, I found out for $90 what I would have found out for $40, $400 in one day and said, now I know exactly kind of where to place my budgets and what to look at next. So this is John Moran and with Solutions 8, and I hope that you enjoyed the kind of using shared budgets, um, when to use them, how to use them, why to use them, and what to do after you start using them. Um, 
And if you like these kind of tips and different Google Ads strategies, then please you know drop a subscribe or like, share, comment. It helps us a lot. We're trying to get to at least a thousand uh, subscribers so we do YouTube lives. Um, thank you very much. Bye.